Haha, <laughs> you'll never get me. <laughs> anyway, hi guys. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Be Herman's Prophecy. I'm Puma 152 and we are in Devonshire. Um, remember how Stella told us to go tell her, her husband how she died? Let's go interrogate her sister first. What do you want? Your sister told us what you did to her. We know you poisoned her so you can marry Herbert. My sister is dead! How could you know this? Is that a confession? It's not important. What is important is that we're going to tell Herbert what you did. And we're just going to do that. Um. Oh yeah, I actually had to start over this recording because it went all funny, but... Um, the audio got glitchy last episode. Um, at the very end, what I was saying pretty much was... Somehow on YouTube it says they have four more episodes than I, four more videos, sorry, than I actually do. I can account for one of those, but the other three just kind of randomly popped up. Anyway, um, after Herbert says, you know, my wife's sister has been taking care of me. I don't want to trust her. Why not? She poisoned her, sis her sister so she could marry you. After three years, I don't know if he's going to marry her. Honestly. But how could you know this? Your wife, Stella, told us. I know it's hard to believe. Just be wary. Thanks, I think. Yeah, that's right. We like, um, talking to dead things. Dead people. Okay. Sorry, I just had to check something real fast there. Alright. Haha, <laughs> you missed me again. Small children. Nah, <laughs> I'm faster than all of you. Just did it. Okay. Actually, I'm... I usually don't take the Mule Express, but I'll do it just for you guys. So you don't have to watch me walk all the freaking way back. Anyway, yeah, this is Mule Express. This way is actually to the, um, dock. Yeah, Kandar Dock. Woohoo. We will, um, be getting to that later. So anyway, let's take Henry back to his mommy. Because we're nice people like that. Ah, I hate being nice. <laughs> you know, not, being nice is really a good thing to be, but sometimes people just take advantage of you. Anyway. Mama, it's me, Henry. Henry, it is you. Thank you for bringing, my, bringing back my little boy. What? No treasure, no reward, nothing for like, oh, here's a small token of appreciation. Damn, we should have sold back to the orphanage. Actually, no, um, I'm just gonna explain this right now, because I don't feel like explaining it, um, later. Um, basically, um, oh, sorry, um, to get a certain item that is required to get, um, you need to get something else, which requires you get, um, I guess they could be considered brownie points, um, you have to do so many good deeds, so to speak, and each one gets you a little closer to obtaining the item that you need to obtain the other item, so you can get the and the feet and the human and all sorts of crazy stuff. So... Yeah, I just realized I didn't want to go back to Kandar. I was trying to think of what I wanted to do. But, um... I forgot. <laughs> yeah. It's hap it happens. But, um... Oh, I... We did give Gwyneth back her little boy to get our brownie point. You also, I believe, get one for getting Ella a ball gown and... Um... Way back when, when you, um... Yeah, got Ralphie... Or took the letter to Ralphie's dad. What I want to do now is take a little trip up in the canoe. We cannot go over under the bridge for obvious reasons. It's a raft. Not a good one. We're gonna be here. 
You get brass shield. Who? Um, actually, we're going to the underworld intent. That's where we need to go. Um, you can actually get a fourth party map, which I think I am going to do. But first of all, you come up the river, this little place. I'll actually be going up the river farther. But right now, you go here. <sighs> the sign says, "Beware, man-eating bats." Hmm. You've never heard of man-eating bats before. Well, there's vampire bats, but they only drink blood. The funny thing is, these threats are pretty much empty because you'll notice your health bars are not there. This is a safe place. Chickens of hell ahead! Save your soul and turn back! Um, by the way, I'm quoting, quoting this. I don't really like swearing, because I just don't. Sounds spooky. Hmm. So, yeah, you just hard to get lost here, too. It's pretty straightforward. And you see this one guy. Who looks creepy. The hunter. Shh, I'm pretending to be a bird. Well, go jump off a cliff. See if you fly. Here, welcome to Animalville. Animals only. Well, depending on how you look at it, humans are kind of animals. Meetsy piggy. Some animals prefer clothes, but I prefer the natural look. Right. Whatever you say. Pretty. The animals close village away from the world where we are misunderstood. Cool. Haha, <laughs> you can jump off her. This is a mare, he's a run. What do you want with us humans? Finish your business and quickly be gone. Or sorry, finish your business quickly and be gone. Okay. Anyway. Theory of shape. Shape is determined by how one perceives oneself. And welcome to Shape Shifty 101. Apparently all apparently animals are shapeshifters. I can't see, I can't see. If only I was taller. Jump up on the desk. I know what they're reading. Humans, woof woof. We're learning how to turn into chickens. Uh, how do you learn to turn into a human? I was born this way, thank you very much. What's funny is that you go here, there's an invisible bird. Very impressive student, you shape changed into a human. Yeah, we're just that amazing. But you come to this guy, you notice he's pretty much Oh, he's not the only one with a face picture, but he's... He doesn't look like a regular animal. First of all, he's wearing clothes. Have you seen my brother? He hasn't been to class in several days. What does he look like? Small, green, lots of warts. He wouldn't happen to be a talking toad, would he? Why, yes, he is. Don't say that out loud here. It's not politically correct. Yes! Sorry, I don't like the whole politically correct, you know, you can't offend anyone thing because I find political correctness politically incorrect because it offends me. Sorry, anyway. Thank you for the political, politically correct joke, Frederick. You, you are awesome. Where did you see him? Anyway. In the southern desert, traveling with the carnival. He's been captured by the carnival again? He's always getting into mischief. Would you mind taking me to my brother? Transportation is hard to come by up this way. Anyway, I'm sick of glass. I have to turn into a chicken one more time. Say yes. You actually need him um, to complete the game. But anyway, I'm just going to finish the tour of Animalville. Did you wake up this morning as a chicken? Can't rid of your bovine tail? This book is for you. You don't have that problem. Anyway, this is a shapeshifting tour one. Advanced shapeshifters only. Hi, guys. I'm actually a dog, but I like changing into a cat. Okay. This guy's not a fox. He looks more like a werewolf. Well then, student, you look just like a human. Are you from my class? Uh, no, we're transfer students from the Collegium Foreign Magic. Anyway, let's go look at Frederick. You notice he bumps Jack down. Um, you notice he already comes with plate armor. And how awesome was that? And he comes with an iron shield, which is like the best shield in the game. All you need to really get for him is a helmet and a poison ring, which, um, what's her bucket apprentice, which who was missing a broom, was kind enough to give us. Um, the weapon he has, it's, um, an animal blade or something. Um, that's the only weapon he can wield. So, you want to make sure it's quick. Bah, humans. Oh, I didn't investigate something over Oh, well. Just that, but find nothing. It's empty. Fluffy's world travels. 
The open library was most impressive, a stop for any serious scholar. Hmm, this library has been mentioned a couple times now. So. Ah, this guy is fine, this guy is fine. Thank you, Chicken Little. I love how many re random references this game has. Oh dear, oh dear, I've lost my cowbell again. That does sound like a problem. <laughs> this song is called Black Reel. I like it. I like the music in this game. I don't know why. Okay, yes, I kind of do. But it's because it's good music. Anyway, um. This is Virginia. Goodness me, Moomily. <laughs> Next time you get surprised, say that. Goodness me, Moomily. Humans in animal world? Leave us in peace. Um, if you come here without Frederick, you'll have to leave. Well, she won't do anything. But with Frederick, it's, like, it's okay, I'll bring Virginia there with me. Oh, humbubbles. You have to love her expressions. And she wants 500 freaking gold to stay here. Five freaking hundred. That's ten times Witchwood. And that's Nya. Which, um... Yeah, you go down the river and go through the woods and bamf, you have free heal anyway. Animal Utopia, the famous rooster scholar, Squeaker Bane, believed evil could be abolished only when animals received a voice in the world of humans. That's what Frederick is for. Learn bird bird in 24 days. Want to understand those sparrows and finches? <sighs> Sorry. Want to understand what those sparrows and finches are chirping about? Learn bird. I, I can sometimes hold a conversation with robins when they're around. But yeah, that's it for Animalville. Let's um, go to Kandar and no, the bleach tooth but <laughs> Sorry, it's actually getting close to dinner time. Maybe that's why my brain's shooting out. But um Actually, I'm not going to go up the river. Okay, actually, I am going up the river. Um, I'll actually come back here later. Actually, never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. That's the place where you got... I can't remember what it was, but yeah, see. Um, we've been there. Um, to get off, you just go by a... Um, by the shore and hit A and you pop off. Actually, I don't know if we're going to get to the beach tooth desert because I seem to be selling. Anyway, you come up here to this lake and you get a hammer. No one currently in your party can use a hammer. Um, there's a character you can get later that can use the hammer, but I don't usually get him because I like having Jack in my party and I like having Frederick in my party and you can't get rid of Talia or Devin which I can understand I might make it to the bleach tooth desert this episode but yeah just sail back down and down and down and get off I can play around this Frederick he kind of looks cool oh one thing I failed to mention you go down to Frederick, he has an icon, the cross sword icon, like, um, Devin. You go in there, um, this is all his shapes. You can change it to a chicken. Yes. You can run around as a chicken. <laughs> um, he can still attack in this, but I don't think it's that good. So. Run! Okay. Sorry, it's. You know how many chicken jokes there are? Don't even get me started on the cuckoo jokes from Legend of Zelda. That could potentially get scary. Scar you for life. Ooh, one thing I forgot. I don't want to attack the chicken. It's not good to eat. There's actually a chest over here that I forgot. Whoops. I hit V instead of spacebar. Oh yeah, anyway, we'll just rock around. Um, it has a red ring. 
you go up here somewhere and you can walk on water again. Whoopity doo. Ah, that's not the blue tooth desert. It's this way. Um. Neep, 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 neep. So yeah, you go back here, and you talk to um Master Gaston. How much do you want for the talking toad? Money? He's too valuable to sell. Just knock him over the head and take the toad. There must be something you're willing to trade for him. If you can find me another act, I'll think about it. Well, sucky you. So he won't go unless you get him another act. But, um, remember the girl who's half girl and half unicorn? Um, who said she could turn into all sorts of animals? She's actually gonna give you a nice demonstration. <laughs> Woohoo, she turned into a lion. <laughs> Frederick, wow! Did you just shape change into a lion? No, she shape changed into a, um, turtle. What do you think? Sure did. Pretty neat, don't you think? I'm a shape changer too. Well, kind of. It's been a long time since I've met another shape changer. What can you do? <laughs> well, uh, I can change into a chicken. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, I would not want to have to admit that. I can change into a chicken and that's it. A chicken? That's baby stuff. Come on here and I'll show you how to change into a lion. And she does show. Show. Yeah, she does show. So now you can shape change into a line, which is right now Frederick's most powerful shape. And he is Frederick Lemieux. I love it. Does that mean he was originally a cat? But anyway, he's also a merchant, if that makes anything. But, um. So yeah, we need to go find a replacement act for Master Gaston. So we can get Frederick's brother back. Um. If you'll remember back in Glenville, Vale, yeah, Glenville, there was that weird clown. That Jenkles. That, you know, nobody appreciates a clown around here anymore. <laughs> well, um, let's go get him. In the next episode, actually, because we're kind of out of time. Sorry about that, but, um,. Yeah, so I guess next time we will be getting Jenkles the Clown and hopefully getting Frederick's brother back. Uh, so I will meet you up there in Glenville. So until then, I am Claymore152. See you later. Have a nice day. Yay!